Hello everyone, and today we're going to be talking about a mod that I did make a review for uh, a while back, quite a while back, but I think it's a mod that deserves uh, a little more attention than I think it gets, and it's called Total Vanilla Beyond. And uh, this mod, uh, like I say in the title here, is I think perhaps uh, the best sort of vanilla style mod for Medieval 2 Total War. I, I always get comments of uh, people asking about, you know, what's the best vanilla style mod, and I think I like v Total Vanilla Beyond. So you've got uh, a ton of new factions, as well as, you know, making a lot of emergent factions playable, right? So you've got the Mongols playable from the start, the Aztecs, the uh, Apache, um, Lithuania as well. And uh, as you can see, the mod uh, is on this uh, large map, right? So it goes from the Americas, essentially, all the way to Central Asia. And the Mongols actually start out on the map. And you have the Khwarezmians on the map as well. The uh, Damascus, uh, Cilicia, and uh, Lithuania, like I said before, Norway, Ireland, Scotland. So it's not just, you know, the, the other vanilla style mods, or a lot of them in any case, like uh, the Kingdoms Grand Campaign mod, for example, or there was another one called the Vanilla Kingdoms, I think. Um, those mods, you know, they're fine, but they just kind of add, you know, what uh, the factions from the Kingdoms expansion into the Grand Campaign. And I mean, that's fine. But um, I prefer you know, something a little bit different. And this mod mixes it up quite nicely. So you have, uh, yeah, there are some factions that uh, were in kingdoms, right, that have been added here. But there are a bunch of new factions here, like uh, Damascus, for example, and um, the Abbasids, right, and the Juarezmians. So let us uh, quickly jump in here. Let's jump in as Lithuania, because everyone always asks me about Lithuania. All right, so of course, in the at the start date, 1080, uh, Lithuania is still a uh, pagan kingdom, and I believe here uh, it is also uh, pagan. Yeah, so you can build uh, altars, right? So of course, Lithuania wasn't exactly a united kingdom like this in the 11th century, or we're, we're not exactly sure, right? Uh, there, there were several different... Um, states in this region but uh yeah so you can see that everything is pretty much as you would expect here and let us quickly take a look at the map here now um one of the other reasons i like this mod is uh, the map is really nice i really like this map it's a it's a unique map it um it adds quite a bit more than a lot of other um mods for Medieval 2 do. It goes a little further into Central Asia than other mods, and it has um, the Americas actually visible from the start, right? So that is another pretty big um, thing, and Iceland is here as well. So, and of course, uh, you can play as the Aztecs and the Apache right from the start of the game, and actually the Ocean is navigable from the start. So, you know, Vanilla Medieval 2, like I say, it it's not the most... Um, er, for me, it has a lot of historical concessions, right? For the sake of gameplay or something. But, you know, I don't... If they were going for that approach, I don't think they quite went far enough to make the gameplay... A unique for Medieval 2. This mod does that, right? So this mod takes everything much further. So you can actually get on a ship and take Chichen Itza in the 11th century. And why not? In a vanilla style mod, why not do that? Why not, indeed? So, of course, there are still a lot of the vanilla things that bother me, like Milan controlling Genoa in the 11th century, um, there are a couple of changes that I like, like Portugal does not control Navarre, so that's something, uh, nice. Uh, there are, of course, uh, a bunch of 
There are a few things that I find a little bothersome. So, for example, uh, you have the, the Cumans here, right? And the faction is called Cumans. Uh, and it's just Cumans. But then you go here, and the Mongol faction is called the Mongols, right? So, okay, there's a little inconsistency there with the definite article. Then you go here, you have the Khwarezmian Empire, right? The Khwarezmian Empire. So there is the sort of status of the state, even though, of course, the Khwarezmians were not an empire at this time. But in any case, uh, this all should be the Grand Seljuk Empire. But anyway... Um, and then you have the Caliphate uh, or Caliphate of Baghdad, and then you have the Turks, and then you have Emirate of Damascus, you have Armenian Kingdom of Cilicia, right? Even though it wasn't a kingdom at this time. Uh, so just very, and then you have Egypt, for example. It just says Egypt. Uh, th there are th inconsistencies like this, and um, like inconsistencies like that, but they bother me. But I mean. Whatever. Uh, th those are small things, but they do sort of lend a uh, sort of feeling of uh, lack of polish, right? When that happens, I know I'm not... Uh, it's not bad. It's just uh, those things bother me. Now, uh, other than that, I have to say the units in this mod, uh, they, they are enhanced, right, compared to uh, vanilla... Uh, but they are pretty much vanilla in style, like peasant archer militia, Estonian spearmen, spear militia, things like that. So the rosters are pretty much inspired by vanilla. There, um, and the new factions have all new rosters that are, again, vanilla inspired. So you have your heavy cavalry, your levy infantry, your uh, lighter uh, sort of javelin cavalry. Right, uh, traits are very enhanced in this mod. I think it utilizes a version of that uh, BBB traits mod, if I'm not mistaken. But other than that, uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything I have to say about this mod. It is definitely not the most historically accurate mod. But again, if you're looking for a vanilla style mod, then you're not looking for a mod that's, you know, 100% devoted to historical accuracy, right? And this mod, I think, I think it does, I think it's, uh, when you look at the name of the mod, Vanilla Beyond, I think that's exactly what it does. It goes beyond vanilla, and it it makes the vanilla, if you wanted to go for a game with that vanilla style, I think this game takes it to that point where it's a lot more fun. It's very cool. And uh, you, you have the Mongols coming and you get notifications as the Mongols conquer more cities, and the Mongols, uh, under AI control, get a whole bunch of money if they fulfill certain objectives. It's pretty, it's pretty fun, indeed. And having Norway here to shake things up in the north uh, for, the Dan for the Denmark campaign, that is pretty nice as well. Uh, other than that, yeah, that is pretty much everything I have to say. Um... You know, the mod, it makes pretty much... It, it looks really nice. The graphics are really nice. Uh, the addition of more factions in the Near East uh, and in Northern Europe is really nice. Uh, the addition of the Mongols as being playable on the map from the start is really cool because, you know, a lot of the time when the AI emerges as the Mongols, uh, they don't end up doing as much as you want. But here they do because they're on the map from the start. So uh, that's pretty much everything I have to say about this mod. Again, if uh, this video is sort of for those people who are looking for a great vanilla style mod for Medieval 2, and I have to say that mod is vanilla beyond. I really like it. It's really unique. Uh, it, it has a great campaign map. Um, if, if your focus is gameplay over historical accuracy and you really enjoy the sort of vanilla gameplay loop, vanilla Medieval 2, this mod is for you, and uh, the last uh, the last version was released fairly recently, I believe a few years ago, if I'm not mistaken. So it's not an old mod indeed, and it's very polished. I get very few CDDs with it. I can't remember the last time I had a crash with it. Perhaps I'll live stream this mod at some point, because it is quite a fun, fast-paced uh, mod indeed. So, if you enjoy videos about the historical Total Wars and their mods, 
Consider liking this video, consider subscribing to the channel, and I will see you in the next one later.